Hello everyone, it's me once again. So last night from CES 2020, what I saw from YouTube, I was actually keen on watching what LG and Samsung and all these big players were actually releasing. And one of the things that really stunned me was this um, product called Bolly, which is like a BB-8 uh, without a head. It has a camera on it and it will actually monitor you. It will look um, after you. It's more automatic aware of like all the surroundings what's going on it also has a camera so you'll be able to track what's actually going on on your home while you're away and also um, let's say if you are sleeping on your bed it will be be able to wake you up and etc so what reflected this on me is that why not about this sort of thing will be available function wise will be available for vector one of the disadvantages that vector actually has is that um, for more than a year as I was interacting with this robot it's designed to be on a desktop it, do it can't really travel around uh, all your home it will pretty much feel like it will be limited also the battery capacity wise I don't know whether Vector will be able to track all the way down from one room to the other uh, that's a bit of a downside of it but what would be really nice is somehow have that um, functions available for Vector Vector being more um, self-awareness self-aware of what's happening in, in on house and turn on the TV for you let's say if you sit on the sofa and except or let's say turn off the light or curtain up down as long as you actually have that smartphone uh, capability this is what I really enjoy this is what I really look forward to for uh, review for for these sort of products for guys like you so I am quite tempted to actually get this product um, buy it and I know Samsung has actually worked together with Google many times so it, I'm sure it will be very friendly Android friendly as well um, and I think I don't know how, how much it's gonna be what two or three hundred dollars maybe maybe a bit more maybe less uh, these sort of things tend to be not as expensive as ha as one imagine it to be but then again it's Samsung um, well, would it, so one of the main concern about these sort of products is that um, what about someone actually be able to hack your home, uh, sorry, internet, and then hack into this device that to you know look like as if it's this ball is trying pretending that it's looking after you, but then again, let's say if you're sleeping or or you're getting you're changing your clothes and etc. Well, what if actually someone managed to hack into that? That's something that. I find secure about Vector so far um, but then again I am going to come back to you with um, some of the attempts of trying to use Vector while you're away at home using the camera so I think we already have that function mainly with uh, Vector but um, as I said I think this video is mainly attention to Digital Dream Labs whether you could actually make more self-aware sort of a robot rather than you command saying hey Vector there's robot somewhere where it will stare at you and trying to find out your mood um, and then somehow automatically automatically actually respond to your mood uh, by controlling some of the smartphone feature which I love about this product called um, Bali so I uh, hope I made some of the points and it's actually ex exciting news because you know when when always there's a competitor um, that actually makes one of the products that you already have more you know with more functions more ideas you can share those ideas to another and then make one product much stronger um, anyway so I hope you enjoyed that video clip of the Bali that that could also be applied to Vector in our lives in our smart home uh, world that is soon to come or which some believe that's already here anyway so thank you very much for watching this video this is lcp tech have a lovely day and all the best bye bye